the grass was too wet. Okay, I made it to Berkeley. I'm living in this place. I'm on the UC Berkeley campus right now, and check this out. So a lot of my friends, my vegan friends obviously, those are pretty much all my friends, let's be real, work at farmer's markets on the weekend. So they just gave me this box of freaking produce for free. Incredible tomatoes, squashes, bok choy. I'm an extremely happy man. So yeah, I moved here. I've been here about a week. Uh, life's been really good. I've been hopping from staying at Izzy's place most of the time, giving her and her roommates a break, uh, and staying at other uh, vegan activist houses. So I joined a group called Direct Action Everywhere, DXC. It's this super badass direct action animal rights uh, activist group that their Berkeley branch is like the biggest, although they have branches all over the country, maybe even all over the world. Um, they do things like like speak outs and whole foods and restaurants like singing songs on behalf of animal liberation, speaking out in, re in restaurants that promote violence and serve animal products. We just did a protest in Whole Foods that I'll post uh, on YouTube pretty soon. And yeah, so I've been involved with that group. I've been doing all these direct actions with them in public. It's been really rewarding. It's totally non-violent. It's just getting people in your community, just expressing yourself publicly in the community on how you feel about animal rights. And I really support what they're doing. So I've been really involved in that. That, but that's just like my volunteer activist work. I've been in the pottery studio every single day for hours. I'm really cranking out pottery. It's just, I'm really feeling it. I'm loving it right now. And I'm trying to replenish my Etsy store, which is sold out thanks to you guys. And so hopefully in the next month, maybe month and a half, I'll have like not 20 pieces, not 30 pieces. I probably won't put stuff up till I have 100 or 200 pieces up there. So whatever you want, whatever quantity, I've been making tons of pottery while I'm here in Berkeley and uh, I'll have all that stuff on Etsy. What else have I been doing with my life? Um, I've been making videos, although it's kind of been hard because I haven't had a stable place to stay. Oh yeah, I signed, or I'm signing a lease tomorrow. I got a house and I'm living with two other vegans from that I know from LA uh, who get here next week and then kind of the week after. But I'm moving in tomorrow, which is really exciting. It's been, it's, it's been fine and I have such generous friends hopping from place to place, but like right now I'm all congested because I stayed in a house the past two days of the nicest people ever, I love them. But uh, they had tons of cats, I'm allergic to cats. So like it's just been rough. I haven't been able to have like consistently make videos and uh, do things that kind of you need us your own space to do. I don't know, I'm making excuses. But I've also been training a lot. I've been exercising, I've been swimming. I got a membership at the Cal Gym. So I've been doing my swim workouts to train for my Ironman. Unfortunately, I can't run because I still have an injured foot that I'm getting nervous for. If it feels like this and like, three weeks, I probably can't do the Ironman because I just won't have time to train, which sucks, but I hope I heal that, so I've been trying to heal it. I've been cycling though a lot, doesn't hurt my foot, and oh my god, the mountains and the hills around Berkeley, they're just insane. Like, you can get any elevation you want, steep hills, uh, long kind of, not as steep hills, it's beautiful, there's redwood forests, so epic. Like, just looking out here, like it's so beautiful. So, I've been training. I have been doing pottery, I've been doing animal rights work, I've been shopping at farmers markets, I've been hanging out with Izzy, meeting the community, making friends, and I'm so excited to say that today I like halfway got into a tattooing apprenticeship. I've been shopping around shops this whole week and really getting bad vibes. Honestly, just not being into the shops that I was looking at. The artists are just kind of sassy and just were kind of rude to me. Like, no, we don't even want to look at your drawings. We're not looking for that right now. Or just like, oh, you have no experience. You know, we don't want people with no experience, but I'm trying to get into it for the first time. Whatever, that's their thing. Uh, it's a, I know it's a competitive industry, but finally today I found not only like my favorite tattoo shop, the whole vibe, what they're about. It's a feminist focused, like progressive, chill, non-tattooing bro culture, and also like fine art tattoo shops. Like the oil paintings on the wall just blew my mind and they were actually like the most interested in me apprenticing. So I'm not a full apprentice yet, but the owner of the shop 
has given me some assignments. I have work to do. He liked my vibe. And if I present them to him in a reasonable time and he likes my work, we might he might say that I can be a part of the community and apprentice there, which would be a dream because it's right under my ag vegan activist friend's house, the Ahimsa house. It's just, it would all work out perfectly. So essentially what I'm saying is I, I'm doing tons of things while I'm here in Berkeley. Nothing is set in stone and like I don't have one thing that I'm consistently doing, which is perfect because that's not what I like to do in life in general. I like to follow my passions to the best of my ability without putting too much on my plate and work for myself most of the time. And that's kind of what I'm doing and I'm loving it. It's overwhelming because I haven't had a place steady to live, but that's going to change tomorrow. And I'm really just letting well, anything that comes that. come my way come like i've i've been eating a lot of raw because the food here is so good but tonight there's actually a vegan cheese activist night which i'm going to so i'll eat some vegan cheese um just just loving life berkeley's incredible if you can come visit here if you want to move and come live here you can train year round it's kind of chilly in the morning but it's beautiful pretty much every single day the fruit's incredible the produce the animal rights community the vegan community is unreal i love it here i'm so blessed and if you're in Berkeley you want to hang out uh, hopefully Izzy and I will host a meetup within the next month so thank you guys so much I appreciate all your love I also want to say that I have decided to post usually daily sometimes I skip a day every other day but I'm posting videos on my patreon page exclusively that aren't going to be on YouTube um, so if you pledge to my Patreon page, anything from $1 a month to whatever amount you want to support me to keep on making videos and just doing what I do, uh, it's a huge help, especially now that I'm kind of living on my own, trying to make uh, plantriotic and activism my main kind of career path. Uh, if you can pledge any amount of monthly donation to me for the services that I provide to you, if you do find value in it, that really means a lot to me. It helps a lot. So you can go to patreon.com slash plantriotic, pledge any anything from one dollar to whatever you want a month and I post as much as I can hopefully every day um, posts and videos up there that I don't put on YouTube uh, so thank you guys so much much love dream extreme and more amazing videos to come now that I'm here in Berkeley